St Kilda. They've had some wonderful matches over the years. None better, of course, if we really turn the clock back to 1966, especially for St Kilda fans. And the Saints flying high again this year. Currently coming into this game in second spot on the ladder. Stuart Lowe coming back into the side today. And as far as Collingwood was concerned, there was a question mark over Nathan Buckley. That was laid to rest. He did run out onto the ground. And first up, we'll pick up some highlights of the first half at Waverley this afternoon. In short, that is very clever to low. Uh, Lowe's looking for an option. He's looking for a short one. I think he should put it to the top of the square at the moment. We've got a couple of marking players back there. It might drop short here. Elliot is there. It flies over the back. Windmill's got it. Goal. The Monkhorse played in the reserves today. Now he's gone short. This is Elliot. He's going to have a shot from 30. Elliot. Oh, it's a great kick. It's a goal. And Burke might transfer play to the middle of the ground here. He will. Windmar just waits for it. He's got Jones. Danger here for the Magpies. Jones on the left. Belts it back. Low. Oh, goodness me. So, Stewie Low from point blank range on any other day. This would be a gimme. But he's got it all right for his second. Back to right. Centering kick from him. Straight to Wakeland. Couldn't take the mark. Rock of the hand pass to Watson. It bounces, it bounces, it bounces. Have they got their first goal? It looks okay. And Buckley's kick, usually to a teammate. Not so on this occasion. Harvey makes good position. Had a great first oh. quarter. Lovely ball by the Brownlow medalist. Kicks it in towards Heatley. And Heatley marks. 40 metres out. He's read it well again, I think. Well, bad kicking certainly letting both sides down, but particularly Collingwood. Had they kicked straighter, they could have been considerably closer at half time. 2 11. A disappointing scoreline for the Maggies. St Kilda 7 10. So at half time, 52 plays 23. Let's take you to the action now in the third quarter. Some 13 and a half minutes left in the term, and the Saints lead by five straight goals. Nathan Buckley waits. And then kicks in. As usual, finds his man, Graham Wright, gives it back to him. Buckley, right half back. Long kick that time. Marnie takes the mark in front of Young. Good effort, good run. Anthony Rocker. Terrible kick off the boot. Takes a right hand turn. Richardson. Pressured by Hudson. And the latter seeing the ball out of bounds. And uh, bleeding from the mouth there. The old proverbial fat lip. Throw in out of side where a lot of the play has been today with this northerly wind. It's pretty crowded around the bounce, too. Anthony Rocker above uh, his opponent there. Down to Marnie onto Francis. Hudson. Young. Nice gather. Jones runs for him. Elliott. Mark number seven. Kick number six coming up. He's done well. Came on to replace Sirikoski midway through the first quarter. Heatley couldn't complete the mark. Thompson. Rebounds it quickly, shoots it, oh, stops like a, uh, a ball with backspin on it. Shawbel to Buckley, mops up well, looks for Crow, who kicked Collingwood's last goal. They've only had two goal kickers. Watson's got two, and Crow one kicked in this quarter. Rosiska set to come back on. Yeah, they certainly need him back on, uh, Gavin. He's been a fantastic player over the years for the Magpies. His last couple of years playing up around the wing area, been very good. Everett and Anthony Rocker. Jason Wilde is picking up Robert Harvey at the moment. This is Healy. Driving into that danger area. Low. Couldn't mark. It's over the back. Socked it up the ground by Heatley. Oh, look at that. Oh, brilliant goal. Well, this is amazing, Pete. Goals are so hard to get. And Heatley soccer's one from probably 25 to 30 metres out that takes the nice little off spinner. Terrific knock then by Everett to Healy, who just bangs it in, which is sometimes I think they've just got to get the ball in long. The ball's going everywhere, and the left foot soccer would have done the World Cup proud. Ronaldo and Romario would have been happy with that one. Heatley gets his third, and what a goal it was. Prasiska set the comeback on, and it may have even blown Collingwood out of the water. Winmar on to Burke. 
Russell stands in his road, so too does Stewie Lowe. Thompson tries to barge through, couldn't take the footy with him. Burke going in like the little terrier that he is. He's not that little. He's standing next to uh, Spider Everett, he would be. He does so, a lot of heavy work, doesn't he, Lee? Nathan, uh, Nathan Burke. Burke. Oh, yeah, he's always at the bottom of the pack, always putting the head down and boring in. Our umpires today have done a pretty good job so far. Six goals the margin now. If something's going to happen for Collingwood, it's got to happen soon. They've got to have the lead, you'd reckon, down to at least or no more than four goals by three-quarter time. It'd be a tough ask otherwise. Buckley tackled well by Everett. Terrific stuff. Peckett can't take it. Everett again. Oh, the spider is everywhere. And Collingwood with a arachnophobia almost. Stewie Lowe in front of goal. Prestigia Kamo, that's a good mark. He knew Hickley was thereabouts. Prestigia Kamo oh. kicks to the member's side. Wild the target. Gets one hand to it. Mitchell with the red boots, pressuring. Burke again, does the heavy work. Tackled by Razzo. Campbell on the burst, brushes wild. Goes backwards with the hand pass. Back to Burke. Burke, 55 metres out. Looks for Lowe and or Heatley. Osmond's there as well. Oh, they come from everywhere. Preston Giacomo. Fear of Heatley. Heatley pressuring. Can he kick another one? Bends it back on low shot. A metre out. Goals. Seven the difference. That was a damaging one. Yes, it uh, was a good bit of play by Heatley then. Uh, these long kicks in. They're almost clearing the packs a lot of those long kicks in the forward line. The forwards can't charge them at all but it was a great bit of pressure by Heatley have a look at this the ball goes over the top of the pack we'll see that and Pritchard Giacomo had the front position but he chased hard Heatley and just got the ball back bit of luck from this point on but uh, Stuart Lane right place at the right time well very difficult now for the Magpies they're down by seven after terrific play by Heatley look at Everett to Harvey that was brilliant Harvey gets that hand pass into Zilla. Got a half forward line. All oh, being grabbed was low. The umpire let it go. Osborne a quick hand pass. Elliott in after with Gavin Brown working hard as he always does. And the umpire will come in the bounce. But the umpiring today has been very, very good, I think. You agree with that, John Russo? Look, Pete, you always were a great bloke. But as you said, they've, they've <laughs> certainly been fairly unnoticeable. And in these conditions, it's very difficult for them. St Kilda won five of the last six games against Collingham. And Anthony, the last four. And Anthony Rock is off the ground. And coming on is uh, Matthew Francis. As taken by Nathan Buckley. A quick kick to the wide open spaces. Huxton running away from Francis. He is a very good player, Huxton. Drives at the half foot. Harvey at the back. Couldn't take the mark. Courage shown by Godden. Godden again. Oh, free kick. Free kick, Pete. A push to Harvey behind the play here. Wasn't was it? Exactly right, Lee. It was in the marking contest, and I was very, very surprised it wasn't paid by the umpire in control. But the umpire from the middle of the ground has paid it from uh, 60 metres away. Here we see it. Harvey comes out of the pack like oh, yeah. a rocket. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, certainly no endeavour to mark the footy, so Harvey's rightly ended up with a free kick. And one of the great umpires of all time, John Russo. I agree with you. As he brings it in short. Oh, good mark, Gavin Brown. A fantastic mark in the pack. I don't know who he was aiming at then, Robert Harvey, because there was a pack of about eight players. Well, you mentioned Gavin Brown's courage. He always takes at least one really courageous mark a game, and that was a beauty. Hudson. Or well, cops one high on the blind side of the umpire. I don't think he saw that. Thompson flips it out to Elliot. Things have livened up here a little bit in the last five minutes. Harvey. Right, he's oh. got great effort. He really had to stretch every sinew for that one. Osborne at halfback. Right runs with him. Osborne started on the bench. Straight down the centre of the ground. Big Sav, long way from goal. Country mile. He can kick it a country mile, but it's against the breeze. Watson's there, one out. Wakeland. Mopping up is Campbell. Harvey. Probably more ground than Burke and Wills. Healy on right centre wing. St Kilda have lifted. Can the Magpies answer their challenge? Healy's kick up towards right half forward. Heathley comes out. Just can't quite rein it in. 
And it will be a throw in 50 metres out from goal. That's St Kilda back line, Lee. There's Anthony yeah. Locker on the best, but it's been fantastic. Yeah, they've been very good, haven't they? Well, I reckon both defences in some ways have been on, on top. St Kilda have been able to manage 10 goals, 12, but I thought man for man, the majority of the Colony defenders have done reasonably well too. Buckley has support. Krasiska gets it from Gotten. Down the centre wing again. This is where Collingwood have struggled when they go forward. Mark Richardson to Russell. Here's a chance for the Magpies. The race is on. Rocker at the back. And it might bounce through for a great goal and win. Scotty Russell's goal travelling about 70 metres, it bounced through, 4-12, imagine if it was 12-4, be a real chance, but inaccuracy, especially early. Zilla from Elliott, Zilla's kick will land just out from goal about 25 metres, Heatley again a chance, puts his body on the line, close to the boundary line, shuffles it over in front of Presta Giacomo for the throw in, 10 metres from the boundary line. And Tony Shaw giving that gum a decent old workout today. Six goals the difference. Collingwood can get it back to four by three-quarter time. With the wind in the last quarter, maybe a chance. Everett with Francis on the ground now. Burke's hand pass. Intercepting is Buckley. Quick kick, Mitchell. Krasiska, low. Tackled by Razzo, ineffective. Zilla, shot at goal. Going close, going, going, got it, I think. He has. Quick reply to St Kilda. And that's just what you don't need, Barney. Yeah, well, when you're trying very hard to make up the ground, Colin, but as I say, I think it's been a pretty honourable effort, but they just can't score. And importantly, they can't stop St Kilda scoring uh, 11 goals in the game this point without any forward of any kind of domination, I wouldn't have thought. They just keep finding a way to keep the scoreboard ticking, St Kilda, a very potent forward line. So again, the margin out to seven goals. Low beaten for that one, taken by Buckley. Quick kick to the half forward line, and a good mark to Watson. He read it beautifully. He's already kicked two, Shane Watson. The distance might be doubtful, judging by heat. It's going to be hard to make it through from there. Oh, 55 metres from goal, he tries to bend it back. It's not a bad effort. Rocker is marked. The big fella, Sad Rocker, has marked right in the square. And will probably kick his first goal of the day. Yes, Darren Wakelin just really lost Rocker with the flight of the ball. As it held up in the air, Matthew Young looked like uh, he's got to be lined up with the centre of the goal, of course, but uh, still plenty of goal face with an open to Rocker. Lee, here he is, putting that mark on the yeah. ground again and taking those steps. Well, he, go he goes back ten steps, walks in uh, six, jogs four, and then kicks from that spot. Well, he should kick this one. Slight angle, and he's happy. It's a goal. Well, it took him halfway through the third quarter to get his first goal today, Sam. He's already had a stint on the bench, but he's kicked Collingwood's fifth and gives them a semblance of hope. Yes, and again, as I mentioned, Dal Wakeland. Now, have a look at this. Uh, we'll see the Watson kick in. It really is one of those kicks. Just holds up in the goal square, and Wakeland just will lose Rocker at the last moment. Have a look at this. Sav Rocker's first goal. Under seven minutes remaining in the quarter. 42 plays 78. So six goals, not an impossible target to aim at in uh, football of the 90s. Buckley, kick number 18. What's it in front? Has a punch clear of him. Marnie. Good tackle by Mitchell. After Williams. In pursuit is Campbell. Williams looking for a hand pass. Now he'll go onto the left. Harvey. Easy as you like. Francis. Finally getting a run. He'll give it to Buckley. Thought about giving it to Buckley. Maybe Buckley said, look, go longer. Wild from the back. And he's got the mark. Yes, no play on. Burke. Mitchell. Hollywood fans not happy with that. Burke can't take the hand pass. Good shepherd by Young, cleans up a couple. Kick takes a right-hand turn at Albuquerque, it's out of bounds on the interchange gate centre wing. Well, let's well, have a look at it. Was it a mark? One, One grab, two, two grabs, three grabs. Three, oh. Well, 
lost it. Don't know whether he controlled it, but he certainly had a fair piece of it. You got two penalties there, John? Well, he certainly has to control it, and I don't think he did on that occasion. Three grabs doesn't equal control. Okay, fair enough. Harvey. Low, low down, couldn't take it. Winmar. Oh, rose it beautifully. Zua, can he make it two in a row? At the post. Why wouldn't he have ran at the goal then, Zua? Beats me. I think they've really been a little bit hurried with a lot of their disposals, St Kilda, despite the fact that they're well in front. Zilla really just could have uh, cruised in and kicked the ball from 15 metres out, and he's ended up having a shot from 40 metres when really 40 metre kick today, and he could go anywhere. It's unbelievable. And he could have run in and drawn the man as yep. well. Gavin Brown. Just casually kicks it across. Finds Russell. Secured on manning up pretty well down the ground, so Russell's forced to kick short, and the mark has been taken by Osman. But they're getting the numbers back, the Saints. And he got one man inside 50, that's low, and he's now outside 50. Osman is a beautiful kick. Centre wing, big thump was by Hudson. Here's Marty. He tried to play for a free kick. Oh, look at Everett again. Bending it back. No mark. Francis. Shawbrook couldn't get his boot to it. Ozzy Jones. Thompson. Healy. An open goal beckons as Healy waltzes in. Goes bang. And easy as you like. It's another one. Again, a costly turnover in midfield, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a fantastic tackle. Really unfortunate then. I think it was Francis, wasn't it, that actually had the ball or Shawble, but have a look here. It was just the flurry of position, no, it was Shawble, but really Heatley came in from the blind side, laid the tackle, and once there's a midfield turnover, uh, all the attacking side, all of a sudden their players run forward very hard, and Healy was able to kick that one. Healy becomes the sixth goal kicker for the Saints. Stewie Lowe has four, and Heatley three, the leading con uh, contributors. Collingwood out of the centre, four and a half minutes to three-quarter time, up towards full forward, Campbell will give it to Burke, thought about giving it to Burke, Buckley, back to Marty, to Russell, confronted by Burke, Fuller, time to steady, 35 metres out, story of Collingwood's day, he's missed, he's missed a lot, out of bounds on the full, and the free kick will be taken by Shane Wakeland. Shane. It's Shane. Everett. And Francis. Nearly Everett. Oh. And well, and you, think, and you think the Collingwood supporters don't like that after Wilde's not being paid? They and are Wilde. Just quietly, Lee, it's the same umpire that's paid this mark after calling play on for the last one. Yeah. Well, all they want is consistency. I guess they didn't get it there. Burke, he certainly looked at his work rate. Not that it was slack in the first half. Gets it on to Young. Back to Burke. Burke kicks up towards half forward. Heatley on the lead. Tries to shake off Presta Giacomo. Wright may get it back to that player he does. He's confronted. Presta Giacomo quick to get the ball. Out towards Wyatt. Gets a reasonable sort of a bounce. Ozzy Jones can't catch him. Hudson plays it to the front. That was well done. Oh, that was up too high on Thompson. Wild takes the crumb. No man's land here. Ball will just about stop. Richard Cernovic can pick it up. Pressured by Campbell. Campbell puts the body on the line. He ties it up and will be a bounce right on 50 in the last three minutes of the third He's quarter. He's a very impressive defender, Matt Hudson. Uh, just the way he spoiled that ball off half, half back without giving away the free. Got one hand at the ball in the air. Always usually giving away height and size, but uh, a very, very promising player. Very, very hard at the ball too, Lee. Francis. Good kick. Hudson. Oh, a little fumble. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> How will the umpire see that? Rocker was there. It'll be a throw-in. Was he what? He could have put him into the grandstand if he connected. A uh, big savvy. He doesn't put too many into the grandstand. He's uh, not really that sort of player, is he? Everett. He's been magnificent. Against throw a push-out against Francis. Oh, the umpire let it go. Matthew Francis to Buckley. Buckley will centre this ball. Or attempts to. It floats. 
and one behind, I would think. Gee, I thought that was a push out. Do you see that one, John Russo? I saw it on the monitor down here, Pete, and it certainly did look like a push out. And interestingly, when they're that close to goal, the boundary throw ins, the umpire does take up a position side onto the contest, so certainly should have seen it. Oh, oh, oh definitely push in the back. Yes, yeah, for the benefit of the replay, I don't think there's much doubt. Shane Wakelet, Harvey. Thompson at midfield. They've brought it pretty quickly up towards full forward where Heatley couldn't complete the mark. Scotty Crow looking for the free kick. Could have almost gone against him. Heatley, Bob was a long one from a mile out and he's kicked another one. Yes, the Saints starting their uh, second half of the season campaign in excellent fashion. 17 of 15, 117. Eventually running out comfortable winners over Collingwood. We booted six in the final term, but uh, to no avail, 11 at 16, 82. And a crowd of the poor old woods. Yes, Mitch, in front of another big crowd at Waverley, the Saints were very impressive, while Collingwood's season is now well and truly at the crossroads. The other winners today, Richmond, the Bulldogs, and a thriller at the Gabba as the Lions and Port Drew. First, 50,000 fans watched St Kilda defeat the Pies by 35 points. Stewie Lowe booted five, while Heatley returned to form with four. Buckley shrugged off a neck problem and in a physical opening, Sirikoski suffered a thigh injury while Winmar rove superbly. Winmar's got it. Go the Magpies had their chances but just couldn't capitalise while Spider was in everything as Heatley showed signs of a return to form. Watson finally kicked the Pies first while Harvey was simply brilliant, setting up Heatley second. Sav Rocker was benched as the Saints led by 29 points in the long break. While the Magpies showed some fight in the early stages of the third quarter, the Saints had their measure as Healy extended their lead to 40 points. But Buckley was once again a shining light for Collingwood in a best-on-ground performance. That is a sensational kick. The Pies then lost Mark Richardson, stretched from the ground with knee and shoulder injuries. The Saints going on to win by 35 points. Oh, they're too good. We're certainly not playing at our peak. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I mean, we've got a number of players who, who, uh, who are contributing to the performance but aren't playing anywhere near their scintillating best. Every week I say, sit in here and say we don't take our half chance. I keep saying it, but it kills me, you know. Uh, until I can come and say we have taken it.